Okay, so I have just gone to edit this video. I filmed it on my nice new camera. I've got a new computer I'm using. I was so excited. And the entire first like chunk of the video is just gone. No idea what happened. So, to catch you guys all up, hi everybody. <laughs> Thank you for tuning into today's video. I am on a health kick. I have decided that I want to make sure I'm living my best life. I'm doing awesome things and part of that is feeling better, which included getting my health on track. So I am going to the gym for 30 days in a row. I was very active in high school, so I didn't really need to go to the gym. I just played sports and I was fine. But now I've decided to do it and see how it goes. So as a recap, day one, two, three, four, no big deal, no problem. I went, I did what I had to do, and I got out of there. Now for the rest of the video. Okay, so today is actually day 12, so I'm just going to do like a really quick recap kind of thing. So day four, day five was terrible. <laughs> so part of it was I had gym shoes that I've had for years and years and years, and they had like a bend in the back, so they were giving me blisters, and they were hurting my feet, and I was super uncomfortable, super miserable. I was miserable going to the gym and having to put my shoes on and work out. I was miserable after I was done my workout. I was just, I was not in a good mood that like entire day. So I left there and I went and I got new shoes. My new shoes are amazing. New gym shoes and going to the gym is like a world of differences. Holy, like it just, it feels so much better. It's so much easier. My feet aren't in pain all the time. It's amazing. I should have done it way sooner. So day six was awesome. Seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven was awesome. They all honestly were really, really good. I'm finding it a whole lot easier now just in the fact that like it's already more part of my routine. I know it's something I have to do. Doesn't always mean that it's easier. Sometimes it still kind of stinks. I feel comfortable when I go to the gym. I kind of have an idea of what I'm going to do when I get there. I'm just a lot happier in general. Like I don't drag my feet I know like oh okay like I need to go to the gym I need to do whatever I'm really glad that I started this whole thing during the winter break because I was off a lot and so it gave me a lot of time to get used to it and like get over that five day hump of not being happy and not wanting to go before my life got crazy because yesterday I worked 16 and a half almost 17 hours I had a one hour gap in my afternoon between like my job number two and my job number three and I went to the gym and like usually I would just go to like Starbucks or the library or somewhere with Wi-Fi and sit and watch my vlogs and just like not do a whole lot and watch things just relax for the hour because it can be exhausting to be working with children all day long but I was like no I need to go to the gym because I'm going to slowly cut down on slash eliminate carbs. I really had myself convinced that like I couldn't do that. I love bread. I love pasta. I love everything that you can't eat if you're on a low to no carb diet and I think what's getting me on board is the fact that I know that I don't have to do any of these things like this is just something I want to do and I want to try I am up early today because I need to go to the gym before my meeting and before my work day actually starts I think this video will be coming out on like this Friday for you guys that's like day 15 of this whole thing for me okay so it is day 14 of me going to the gym every day in a row. I think I said in my last video I was going to try a low carb thing and I posted about it on my Instagram page I think or my Twitter. Might have been both. I don't know. I've been pretty active on social media lately so I posted about that and everybody started asking me all these questions. What am I doing? What am I following? All of this. I am not doing any type of strict diet. I have no idea what I'm doing and I'm not <laughs> really following any plan. Basically what happened was I saw this thing online and I decided I wanted to try to live by it more. So it was just the saying, living my best life, which is the title of this video. And basically I'm just taking that as meaning I want to live my best life. I want to be happier. I want to be healthier. I want to feel better. Um, I haven't been feeling great the last little while and I'm accounting a lot of that to what I'm eating and my food habits. I haven't had great eating habits because I work so much and I'm all over the place and I don't always remember to take a lunch or to pack a lunch and then I grab fast food and it's not good for me and some days I work like, all day long and I'm eating out multiple days a week and it's just not been great. I'm just focusing on being happier and being healthier and listening to my body more. So 
that's how this whole gym thing started out. I decided, you know, I need to get back into a routine. The times I felt the best in my life and I felt good and comfortable basically all day and wasn't uncomfortable just like sitting around watching TV was when I worked out and I was active and I played a lot of sports and I did a lot of things. So that's what sparked this all initially. And as I've been doing that, I have been slowly seeing results and I've been loving it. So I figured, you know what, now to add to that, I want to be more conscious about what I'm putting into my body, not just about what I'm doing to it to help it stay active. Just there's certain foods I love and I'm not willing to give those up. And that's just the truth of it. There's no reason for me to give them up that I know of. So I'm not willing to. So with doing this, I'm not giving up any of my favorite foods. I'm still eating the things I love. I'm still eating a cupcake every now and then. I'm still having whatever I want, basically. I'm just not doing it like I was before. I'm doing it more in moderation. The other question I've had a lot of is weight loss. Have I lost weight doing this? You know, now I'm on day 14 of the gym. I'm almost at the halfway part, which blows my mind completely, but I'm almost at the halfway mark. So, you know, people are really curious. Have you lost weight? Have you lost a lot of weight? What are you doing? And to that I can say, I don't know. But in October, when we packed up the condo to get it ready to sell, I put our scale on a box because I was like, between now and the end of January when we move, I am going to be so busy with work and with Christmas and with like 10,000 things going on. There is no way that I'm going to get on a health kick. There is no way that it's going to be my New Year's resolution this year. Like maybe I'll try something after we move. Then obviously the end of December, I was like, you know what? Even though I'm busy, I want to try this. I want to push my body and I want to feel better. I want to take 2018 and make it my best year. I want to go on all the fun trips. I want to move into our new house. I want to have... The new computer I really wanted, I want to do it all in 2018. So I am physically seeing results right now. I am seeing parts of my body get slimmer. I took a picture towards the beginning of this whole thing, like of myself, and now when I look in the mirror and I look at the picture, I'm like, oh yeah, like this is getting a lot smaller and this and this and this. And other people are seeing it, which is kind of nice. Like I said, I can't say whether or not I have lost weight. I can say that I have definitely slimmed down a little bit. I'm feeling a lot better and my skin is getting a lot better. So I'm definitely happy with what I'm doing. Like I said, this is going to be an ongoing thing. We've been discussing a lot what I'm going to do after the 30 days because I have, like I said, I'm doing the gym 30 days in a row. But then what? Am I going to just continue and just see how long I can go to the gym every day of the week? Like I just, I don't know. I haven't really decided yet. It's still really up in the air. I'm, like I said, I'm almost at the halfway point, so I've got lots of time to figure that out, but it'll be interesting to see. I'm curious if anybody else that watches my videos is doing kind of a health kick. I would love to like connect with other people that are doing it and kind of have them as support and make our own little support system. I decided to still do a giveaway when I hit 100 subscribers, so make sure you share so we can get there and it can be something fun for everybody. Thank you so much for watching today's video, and I will see you guys next week. Bye, guys.